What's up guys, Max Finn here. Now in today's video, I'm gonna break down the exact funnel that's generated over $10 million for us on a single affiliate offer, $10 million directly to us in commissions. It's generated way more for the brand. And again, this is something that uh, probably is one of the top questions that I get when people are getting to affiliate marketing is, where should I send the traffic? So a lot of people ask, you know, how do I find offers? How do I vet offers? Um, what are kind of the basics? What does affiliate marketing even mean? Uh, where do you drive traffic? Where do you buy traffic? Those are common questions we talked about, the answers to those in past videos. Um, but then one of the other big questions is this one, which is, okay, I've gotten all that down pat. Now, what's the best funnel? What's the best landing page? There's listicles, there's quizzes, there's reviews, there's pre-sales, avatorials, PDPs, long-form sales pages, webinars, VSLs. There's all kinds of funnels out there. So which one should I run to, especially if a brand that you're running the offer for has 10, 12, 15 to pick from. How do I pick? How do I choose? So what I figured I'd do today is uh, break down our biggest offer of all time, which if you guys have been following me for a while, you know, it's Alpha Brain from Onnit, uh, Joe and Aubrey's company, and uh, and break down kind of what that funnel looks like, what the landing page looks like, why it works, and how you can incorporate some of those elements into either if you're a brand your offer, your funnel, or if you're a media buyer running ads, how you can provide feedback and suggestions to the offer owner, or even create your own versions of these. Because again, you don't need to just depend on the brand to do this. You can create your own content site. You create your own authority site. You can build your own pre-sales, your own editorials, your own landing pages, and then direct to their sales page. That's something a lot of big media buyers in the affiliate marketing space do is take control of the funnel. Okay. As always guys, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell to so get all the videos. Um, I have a, a big goal this year, creating a lot more content on social, putting a lot of content out there. You guys probably already see, I put out a lot more YouTube videos just in the last few months and the last few weeks um, than I have in years. So if you wanna keep getting all of these videos, they're just gonna get better and better and better. If you wanna get all those videos, make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss any of them as they drop, as they come out. So um, before we do that though, just to share, like this is, um, because I know a lot of people say like, okay, you're throwing numbers out there. Like, how do we know this, this landing page's funnel actually works? Well, here's our backend tracker that I just loaded up right now. Uh, this is just year to date. So basically the last, you know, 40 days plus or minus on the Alpha Brain offer specifically, you'll see that we've generated about $334,000, $335,000 plus or minus in commissions, which again, when it says total earnings, that means how much we're getting paid in basically payouts. So based on how many sales we've driven. So we've generated about 2,800 sales. Um, we have a good payout with them, uh, about 3.5% 3 conversion rate on this offer. Uh, and we're kind of averaging in the 15 to $20,000 a day range right now. Um, we actually took a hit the other day because we had a cap. So this number actually would probably be about 350 um, plus if we didn't hit a, a cap over the weekend, a little issue with the, the offer. But anyway, um, I just wanted to share that because we've been running this offer for over four years. Um, it's been our biggest offer, our biggest home run of all time. Just wanted to share some numbers and be transparent there because I believe transparency is really, really important, especially when you're talking about big, big numbers to actually show that you do what you, uh, what you talk about. So on that note, I'm going to go over here. We're going to stay in screen share. And uh, we're going to go over to the actual uh, advertorial page. So this is the landing page. This is the advertorial that we've basically sent all of our traffic. Um, there are some exceptions here. So for, for example, like TikTok traffic, um, TikTok traffic, we see work a lot better on PDPs. Um, we're kind of shorter form sales pages, econ pages. When I say PDPs, those are product description pages. Um, so think kind of the Shopify product page, think like short form sales page, not longer form sales copy, not long form pages, really short, sweet to the point. And that makes sense because TikTok had, you know, people have such a short attention span, they hop off, they hop back on, you need to get to the point quickly. However, a vast, vast majority of our total traffic historically in this offer, even though it's gotten more TikTok heavy the last, you know, six, 12 months has been meta. It's been Facebook, Instagram and Facebook, Instagram, advertorials pre-sales are still the bread and butter when it comes to affiliate offers, especially offers in this kind of price range, supplements, nutraceuticals, health and wellness, fitness, beauty, these types of markets, um, pre-sales advertorials still are kind of top of the pack when it comes to the destinations that work best. So this is an advertorial. Um, if you are new to affiliate marketing and some of this jargon doesn't make sense, I'm going to share as if you, you know, don't know what that means. So an advertorial, basically think about it this way. It is basically what the word says. It's kind of an ad and an article, an editorial. So ad, editorial, 
advertorial, very, very creative name. So it's it's content. It's written like this is if you went to menshealth.com and saw an article or you went to you know Business Insider or any of these media properties out there and you saw an article, what it would look like, what it would feel like, how it would read, except it's promotional. It's clearly selling a product. So that's what an advertorial is. It works very well because it comes across as very natural, very authentic, not very in-your-face, salesy, pitchy, so people's guards don't go up. So you're able to get the message across more effectively and people actually can hear the message and digest it because they're not putting that guard up as if I'm being sold, right? It's a much more subtle way of selling. So again, very, very compliant here, very clear. Advertorial right at the front at the top of the page. On it's not owned by Unilever, so everything is very above board with how we do stuff on the brand side. Um, so headline, how Joe Rogan gets fired up on all cylinders, get into your flow state while juggling multiple priorities. Rogan has made this offer a, a you know, mega offer, right? He started blowing up right when we were starting the offer and we've rode that up. He's no longer involved with the company um, in terms of as an owner, but he still has some endorsement deals with them. So having Joe's name obviously on the landing page helps tremendously, right? The star power. But again, a lot of brands, you can have influencers involved. You don't need to have a Joe Rogan, but think about other big influencers in the space that you can do deals with where you can write things and create content like this using that star power in the headline. Um, but again, it's just this, this headline isn't salesy. It's not pitching alpha brain. It's not this supplement will change your productivity. This supplement will get you, help you get shit done. Like It's not doing any of that. It's how Joe Rogan gets fired up on all cylinders. If you're just reading that, you're like, I want to, Joe Rogan's an incredibly productive guy. Like I don't know how he gets it all done. How does he do it? Right. So you're curious right out the gate. So it's a really good curiosity-driven headline that gets me to want to read more because I want the answer to this. I don't care if the answer is you know, pitching something. I just want the answer. Then we have you know, uh, kind of person who wrote the article, date, Name, again, just adding authenticity, making it seem more like an article. Then we have a video here. Um, and this video is a really good one because it actually um, was congruent with some of our top ads we ran historically. So we don't run them anymore because we've run them into the ground. But for the first probably year to two years of this offer, our best ads by far were clips from this longer form uh, interview between Joe and Aubrey. So they were sitting down talking about on it, talking about alpha brain, how Joe uses alpha brain. And so what was great is we would run clips from this ad wise to this page. And then they'd be able to continue basically that ad, that story on this page with the longer video. So it created kind of a two part user journey with the video. Think about how you can use that for your offers, right? Can you run a clip from a longer video and then put that video on the actual um, landing page. So it creates this really nice congruency, this nice flow from ad to landing page. Then we have social proof on here. So we have, you know, their social following featured in these little validators. They're not huge, huge deals anymore. Obviously Joe Rogan has bigger impact than this stuff, but they do help, they do add up. Um, we have a right column here. Again, this is not super important because most of the traffic's mobile, but it also clearly says, you know, offer above the fold. So we also want to make sure we're not just like burying the offer, burying the pitch too far down and losing a lot of people. So we still have elements that are pitching the product higher up on the page um, and really pushing really good deals to get people excited, not just buy now, but, you know, you can get 30% off, get a special bundle, get a special deal here. The CTA, I'll come back to in a second um, because I think the CTA on this page is actually really, really good. Um, then we have a good headline here, getting to flow states is a holy grail of productivity and performance. Um, so again, hitting on this term flow states, which is what nootropics really push, um, hitting on kind of what the, the end goal of this product is, what the topic of this article is, is getting into a flow state and this being kind of the, the, the holy grail for lack of a better word, the epitome of like productivity is getting into this state of mind. Um, and then we're just, you know, giving some context and backstory here, talking about the problems. So what are the problems in the world right now? Well, we got you know, tech and social media and smartphones and attention spans. We're using really good studies and facts and data here. So it's really out of the gate adding authority and authenticity and credibility because they're using like studies and data and numbers and citations and stuff. So it's like, oh, these people know what they're talking about. There's some real good facts here. Then it's, okay, problem. Then it's, okay, well, what's the the solution? It's using this product to get into a flow state faster. Other Because if you don't have it, here's the other ways you could try to get into a flow state, but here's why they don't work. So it's, again, Problem, alternative solutions that fail, then the right solution. We have Alpha Brain here. And we're working in throughout this article little call to action blocks. 
Again, you don't want to wait until the very end of this article to do the pitch and put a call to action button because you're going to lose a lot of people before they, most people are not going to read the full thing. Most people are going to be like, hey, I want this, you know, 10 seconds in, 30 seconds in, one minute in. You don't want to make them to scroll all the way down to find somewhere to click to buy. So you want to keep giving them opportunities throughout this piece to click and continue that buyer's journey. Um, so again, here's the the solution. Here's why Alpha Brain is different than all the other nootropics out there. Working in uh, third-party validation and UGC and testimonials, right? So we have Joe Rogan in here. He uses it. He's not a pro. And then we're going to have Lewis Howes. And we've got other people throughout this article hitting on different celebrities to give more validation credibility to the product that it works. Here's kind of how the product works. So breaking down, hey, this helps you get into the flow state. Here's how it helps you focus. Here's how it fuels you. It does this, this, and this. And here's why it works. Um, here's the ingredients, here's what goes into it, which is really important for supplements is actually sharing, here's all the ingredients that you're going to put into your body because people care about that. Then again, further endorsements endorsed by Joe Rogan. Why does he endorse it? Why does he love it? Why does he care about it? Another call to action. Then we have real customer testimonials down here, and this is made to look like you'd see on a Shopify page. So it's again, here's different testimonials, quality product, value of the product, star ranking. Yes, I recommend the product the name a day ago, two days ago, five days ago. So it's not just like five seconds ago, five seconds ago, it's actually breaking it down a little bit. And then all the stuff you obviously wanna have in the footer. You wanna have your you know, your customer service, your contact, your disclaimers, your terms of service, your privacy policy, your sources, all that good stuff to run compliantly on, on Facebook and TikTok. Now, the other element here that I want to hit on, on this page that I really like, is the wording around the call to action button. So it uses check availability throughout here. And you know, some of them are learn more, but most of it is check availability, the big ones. The reason I really like this, especially above at the top, it makes it more uh, scarce, right? It makes you have to like, it's like, hey, we sell a lot of these. It might not be there for you. It might, it might be there for you, it might not. Like you just gotta check, right? So it's not like desperate. It's not like, hey, buy, 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 please buy, shop now. It's like we run out of stock frequently and Alpha Brain does sell out very frequently. So hey, check it. If it's in stock, you can go to the next step. If it's not, tough luck. Um, so there's like legitimate scarcity here. Um, this is something athletic green. So AG one also does this. They do a little different. They do unlock offer, which I like, but think how you can use more creative call to action buttons. Instead of just saying, learn more buy now things like check availability, unlock offer. It just makes it sound more impressive. It makes it sound more special. It makes it, 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 it does a little pattern interrupt. Everyone's used to seeing buy now, buy now, buy now. You want to stand out a little bit, right? Standing out can be a good thing. Um, and then obviously just color-wise, using that green call to action button I really like, really pops off the screen. Um, so this is just kind of the main uh, main page. If you go to this page in uh, in mobile, you're also gonna notice there's a, a sticky uh, sticky buy now button, um, uh, get up to 30% off offer button, which I like. So as they're scrolling through, they can continue to see the, uh, the call to action button, which is great for mobile. Now, just to wrap this up, I wanna go to the second page. I was only going to do one page on this this video, but we'll keep going. I've been trying to keep my video shorter, but this will be a longer one. Um, so here's step two. Um, now, this page right here is actually the page that we send almost all of our TikTok direct traffic to. So almost all of our Facebook and Instagram traffic goes to the advertorial. Almost all of our TikTok traffic goes direct to this page. Um, but this is then step two. So this is just step one for TikTok, step two for Facebook. But everyone gets this page at some point. Um, really like doing pages like this instead of just going to a Shopify page. I know the easy thing is just send them to Shopify, send them to your product page. The problem is Shopify is just not built for CRO, right? It's magnificent, incredible feat of technology and, and a great platform and it's amazing. Um, but in terms of direct response, sending traffic to pages, there's so much more you can do with building out custom landing pages and sales pages that you just can't get with a basic theme on Shopify. So even this sales page, just having elements here of really strong headlines, really strong call to action, really strong elements on here of you know the 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 testimonials at the top. Having the one thing I really like on this page, top right, having the questions, calls, phone number, that is huge. Adding a phone number to your landing page builds so much trust right out of the gate because a lot of people don't buy stuff online because they're sketched out. They're like, is this legit? Are they just gonna start charging me for random stuff? Are they gonna steal my credit card? Like, it, it could be anybody, right? Um, and having an email doesn't really do it because anybody can send a Gmail address. So having that phone, and again, anybody nowadays can create a phone number, but most people 
assume that it's harder to create fake phone numbers than fake email addresses. And that like, it's nice and reassuring knowing that I can pick up my phone and call a human being and speak to a human being and on it about my order, about this offer. It is really, really huge. And we've done this on a lot of other offers now is adding phone numbers and it makes a big, big difference. Um, you can even just have it go right to a vo virtual voicemail and have a, have a customer service person check it a few times a day. So you don't need to have like a live call center on board. Um, but again, really good headline, really good sub headline, great call to action, try it now risk-free, right? So it's, hey, you don't need to commit to a massive thing, just try it. It's totally risk-free, right? So you're just removing a lot of the uh, the objections when you have is like, I don't want to commit to, you know, a two, three on supply. I don't want to commit to subscription. I just want to test it out. I, I don't want, if I don't like it, can I return it? Can I get a refund? Um, so this is a totally risk-free investment and there's more explanations in the footer of what that means. Um, then we have, you know, as seen on social proof, uh, media proof. Then we have the bundles. This is really important. This is again, where I think having custom sales page versus PDP page on Shopify, um, makes a difference. If you are a media buyer driving traffic for a brand on a performance basis, your goal is always going to be to get a higher payout. You're always going to want a higher CPA, higher CPA. The brand though needs to make it work for them financially. Okay, so they can only afford to pay you so much. And what they can afford to pay you is based on two primary variables, your day one AOV and your CLTV over a multi-month window um, based on their cash flow and, and kind of their cash conversion cycles and how much they can afford to float cash out. So based on those two variables. So you as the affiliate should always want to drive traffic to places, to funnels and landers that maximize AOV. Right? So if you just drove straight to a product Shopify page, uh, on a product page on Shopify, you'd likely just have, you know, here's the bottle and then, a, you know, a quantity selector. Most people are just going to buy the thing that's already selected, the one, right? Because that's what they see. That's what it, it's on the page. It's easy. Here, though, you have a three box option. So this is a pretty common kind of pricing stack, three tier pricing uh, uh, grid that they have on here. One bottle, two bottles, three bottles. And so they're always, you're always going to do, you know, most popular, best value, and then you're going to have the standard one. So what you're always going to want to do is kind of push, you know, for a higher AOV offer. So typically it's going to be like the most popular is going to be your middle one, right? So you're going to make the most popular one, kind of the second one, where it's not the biggest price, but it's also much more than the lowest price. And then you're going to make the craziest deal on the highest price one. So that's clearly like, hey, if you love this, this is the best deal financially. But if you're not totally sold, this is the most popular is to get this option. You save you save a good amount and you're also, but you're not committing to a massive amount of money up front day one. So you want to stack these offers um, of like, you know, giving free gifts. That's what they do here. So it's, you know, discount plus free gifts. Um, you can also subscribe and save here. So this is a really good pricing breakdown. And again, because of this, the AOV increased substantially. Once they added this, you know, years ago, AOV went up pretty dramatically, allowed them to pay us a lot higher CPA, allowed us to scale more. So you wanna have something like this on your page where you're really pushing higher AOV by doing uh, multi-quantity stacks and really pushing for the bundle where people are gonna spend more money with you. Then we have kind of a breakdown of the product again. So here's you know what it does, helping you get into flow state. Here's the ingredients in the product. Um, here's kind of the three core blends that go into the product. Here's the you know supplement facts, suggested use, some basic stats on the product, basic FAQ. Uh, FAQ is really important. And then your you know your your footer stuff there. So nothing too crazy here. Pretty straightforward and to the point. Um, but it's a little more than just that typical Shopify page, which again has a pretty big impact on performance there. Okay, so there you have it, guys. I know we went a little longer in this video, but I think it was worth it. Um, if you were thinking about running any type of affiliate traffic and you're running from a Facebook or an IG, or even if you're running from YouTube or other things outside of TikTok, you definitely want to be looking at advertorials pre sales as your destination for the traffic. If you're running TikTok, you want to go to something like this, this secondary step two page I showed you, where it's a little bit of a longer form kind of PDP sales page. Um, and yeah, this this is a proven funnel. Like I said, it's made us over $10 million in affiliate commissions. It's made on it way more money than that. That's just us as the one affiliate. Um, so we have a lot of data to back up that this funnel works. It's worked consistently and it's going to continue to work for us. As always, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and you want more of them. And I'll see you on the next video.
Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, I was going to hire Sarah McLaughlin to do this read instead and play some really sad music behind it to really guilt you into subscribing to my channel, but she was booked and I couldn't afford her. Rates are ridiculous. So anyway, you got me. So if you want more content, if you want to see more videos, you want more marketing and business tips and advice and all that good stuff, or just want to show some support, hit the subscribe button here. It's floating around on the screen somewhere. And if you want to watch more content from me, there's also another floating box somewhere on the screen with another video that YouTube and their really, really smart algorithm thinks you'll like. Check it out. I know you'll love it. And I'll see you in the next video.